Okay, so in this video we're going to look at undertaking an order of magnitude analysis for a turbulent boundary layer. And basically what this means is we're going to identify the, the rough uh, magnitude of uh, different dimensions of, of a boundary layer. So here we have a boundary layer uh, along a flat plate and um, the plate has a length L, the boundary layer has a length delta, the free stream velocity in the x direction is u infinity and so then really the only unknown dimension that we have is the the velocity in the vertical direction. So the first thing that we can do is apply the conservation of mass or the continuity equation to understand what this quantity is going to be. Now of course in a laminar boundary layer v is going to be zero. All the layers of the boundary layer move one on top of the other with no interaction uh, above or below that that plane of motion. But in a turbulent boundary layer this may well be different. So we have our continuity equation in 2D du dx plus dv dy is equal to zero and we then substitute in our orders of magnitude uh, accordingly. So u for d uh, u infinity for du, L for dx, uh, delta for dy, and we seek to have a balance. And essentially what we have to do is uh, make the unknown vertical velocity v the subject, and this will provide us with an approximate scale of its motion. And as such, we can get an approximation for the vertical component of the mean velocity uh, for a boundary layer as follows and we can see that it isn't zero. Now we can move on to do the same for a 2D momentum equation. This is written out here in the absence of a pressure gradient. So there's no pressure gradient term, you just have convection, then you have diffusion. Diffusion due to um, molecular shear stress and the Reynolds shear stress in the x direction and in the same in the y direction. We're going to do the same order of magnitude, term by term, for this equation. As such, so we've done this term by term, so we've said for du squared over dx we have u infinity squared over L. Uh, for dvu over dy we take our expression for v, so delta u infinity over L, and times it by u infinity divided by uh, our y dimension which is delta and so on. So on the on the next term we have d over dx, so that's 1 over L nu stays the same and we have du, so u infinity over dx, L um, minus d over dx 1 over L. Now for our turbulent scale we introduce our fluctuating velocity u prime squared and so on. So we obtain the, the following order of magnitude terms. Now to, to tidy this up a bit, um, you can note straight away that um, these two terms on the left hand side are effectively the same. They're both u infinity squared divided by L. And what we do is we combine these, they'll have the same order of magnitude if they're just uh, summed together and we divide all the terms on the right hand side by this term as follows. So on the left hand side we have 1, on the right hand side we have all those terms divided by u infinity squared over L as follows. And we start to recognize some terms here so u infinity times L divided by nu is a Reynolds number and u prime divided by u infinity squared is our non-dimensionalized um, Reynolds stress in the streamwise direction. And so we can start to uh, put some numbers into this uh, order of magnitude analysis. So if we say that for a fully turbulent boundary layer with a Reynolds number of 10 to the 6, it's likely that our Reynolds stress non-dimensionalized by the free stream velocity is going to be about 0 0.01. So considering the relative size of the terms, if we've set the convection term to be 1, 
we can see that the diffusion in the x direction, uh, both from the molecular diffusion and in the turbulent diffusion, is, is a lot less than 1. Um, and the diffusion in y, well, there's this uh, unknown term, L over D, which tells you the relative length of the boundary layer divided by its height. And so we can use this to understand what this quantity must be. Because in order for this equation to work, uh, one of these two has to balance 1, otherwise the equation is not balanced. And because this is much less than 1, we can surmise that the balance must come from the diffusion in the y direction. And so this quantity L over delta must be such that these terms are of the order of around 1. So uh, to satisfy this, we say that L divided by delta is about 10 to the 2, or 100. Or the boundary layer height is about 1 hundredth of the length. And if we take this, then this uh, cancels out uh, the 1 over 100. So this term is of order of 1. This term is slightly less than order of 1, but of the same uh, ballpark. And the equation overall balances. And, and that's the way we can use order of magnitude to give us some information about the scales in, in the momentum and the continuity equations.